so the channel message is here. Sorry, Virgo, my body's about to die. I'm gonna see if I can make it through this reading without the interruption, but it might, it might do it. So anyways, I'm feeling like you Virgos are gonna move into a new direction or setting things straight in your, in a relationship you have been kind of on a break on, a separation. I think you both have to align on what you truly want. And I feel there's a need to prioritize and maybe you're prioritizing that you do want a family or they, whatever the energy is here but there is a need to align and make big decisions you both kind of miss each other i feel and there's a lot of forgiving and learning so there's a, a need to communicate better um i think i picked up one time for you guys a language of love so this retreat here is a space where you're kind of learning in your own time right now and so there's a need for bringing, extend your lighthearted energy to others. I feel there's a need for lighthearted energy here. So like that you guys can kind of get more on the same page. We have reconciliation and the religious factors for and forgiving and learning. Because this connection is going to need um, a conversation, you know, an understanding of both of each other's way of loving each other. And there may be some... Um, differences in terms of i feel religious factors has to do with growing up it feels there's a different upbringing and so both of you have interpreted um love very differently and how it gets communicated so it's very give me more on this energy for virgo so passion ignited memories of love right and so this is this new beginning because you both do to think about each other there is a missing and there's also just gentle genuine thoughts about this connection you know um and i feel like if it's come to a place of more of a healing energy because of the retreat more of understanding and hope is the star healing heartache and loss is healing again so i feel like there's a healing and now communication would be more gentle and more forgiving and understanding it's like there's more i feel a sense of compassion here and a, a, a willingness to compromise we have magician in the bottom because obviously things were learned the obstacles you guys know what the differences are and there's an energy of like understanding here like i said more compassion towards each other so um spirit give me more of this passion ignited here for virgo why is passion ignited so ace of wands is really so yeah look at this four of swords lots of thinking about this beginning with this empress energy so there's a lot of thoughts of starting over and four of wands and king of cups this reconciliation is wanted um again it's genuine i feel like it's more of a compassionate energy now that it's reached It'll be more forgiving there's more understanding in this four of swords energy more loving unconditional love with this empress energy a willingness to nurture the connection in a more um gentle way okay more on this memories of love here yeah look at this the chariot and the king of wands um you know the pa passion some of you can be dealing with a libra strong fire here aries leo sag cancer as well you've got aquarius as well here so there's a lot of memories of love here in terms of how you both um you know how both of you were invested and i feel like it is an alignment of dreams in a lot of ways like I think you it feels like you both like this with this chariot it does feel like you both have similar dreams you just have to align emotionally with each other it's like you both have similar dreams of how to pursue life um it's very give me more on the star here eight of cups nine of swords and again it's healing um yeah with the queen of pentacles and the fool so there's there's a need to ground this energy heal the energy get out of this nine of swords because i feel like there's a want a need to reconcile with the star um and I, you know your person's very hopeful that you guys can reconnect and like kind of talk things through and leave the past the burdens of the past in the past 
um, and just really regroup and reground this energy during this time apart. It's also been very like frustrating to be apart. You know, again, it's been healing with this nine of swords. It caused a lot of mental battle, right? The differences, understanding our differences, um, self-realizations as well. Um, give me more of this heartache and loss here. heartache and loss ace of pentacles yeah you guys don't want to lose this right ace of pentacles clarifying the heartache and loss the world and the ten of cups you don't want to lose this connection you want reconciliation to happen you want separation you want to heal the connection and end separation and now you're more in a, again, this feels like the compromise, like, okay, this is a new cycle. This is a new start. We're going to really talk about where, where we, we match in what our desires are and what our happiness is so we can bring our relationship together. And I really do feel this is a healing energy. I've actually been loving the energies of the reads this week. There's a lot of deciding and it's good. And I'm happy for those <laughs> who are in this space. So congratulations, uh, whichever direction. But it's like a healing energy. So spirit, what is the message and guidance for Virgo? What do we got for Virgo? What messages and guidance? Yep, two of Pentacles and ten of cups. And you also want, so you're, you're also waiting and weighing your decisions and your thoughts on this, this connection as well. And nine of cups, you know, it does bring you happiness. You're also focused on your happiness and, and being true to what that happiness is. Also three of swords, energy and emperor, because you are also hurting in the separation for your emperor, right? So I mean, look at how beautiful this is. We have the emperor and the empress here. And that's because you both know that you're each other's match. You're you're each other's half. You're if if you guys are going to be in a relationship in these ten of pentacles, ten of cups, new cycle is going to be with each other. And you're willing to hear is again compassion with this three of swords. Again, there's there's a compromise and understanding. There is true forgiving and learning and understanding that's going to happen when you guys finally um, speak. So let's see what the blockages are. Spirit, what are the blockages are for this connection for Virgo? What are the blockages? Yeah, look at this beautiful joy. Joy comes from within. Stop seeking outside of yourself and memories. Time to face the triggers. So the blockages were, you know, reprioritizing what brings both of you joy. Again, communicating and it's just different forms of showing love here. And so you, the, the retreat had to happen for both of you to come go within, right? Joy comes from within. Stop seeking outside of yourself. To come within, to really figure out what your Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles is individually. And then it it, it really feels like that's why there is a forgiving because it's, it's like an, an understanding happened in this space. And I love that in the bottom here is evolution. You are no longer that person. And it's it was truly an evolution this religious factor it was like a shift in each other's energy um where again you guys are gonna you're both of more evolved um individuals and this time around more understanding on how to make this work all right so what is the untold message of the heart of this person for virgo please what is the untold message of the heart for virgo Oh, heart, I love you. I mean, yeah. What else? Mental message. First, you are the one, the only one. Yeah. Emperor and Empress energy. That's it. You're it for each other. You guys, there's no other person. You guys are going to do this together. And then guilt hurting you was never my intentions, but now it's hurting me too. And so, you know, this time apart was definitely... Um, a space of learning you know and learning about how you both hurt each other even by words actions 
whatever that is, but it feels very compassionate and understanding. All right, spirit, what else does this person want Virgo to know? There is so much more going on than you realize, but it is easier for me to pretend that everything is okay and to deal with what I'm feeling. And you know, this is probably what had to happen in, in the retreat to understand. I left you before you could leave me. I have serious abandonment issues that I need to clear first before we can truly be together. And for some of you, it was some abandonment issues, the differences that brought differences to the relationship. Um, and it just created reactions. Again, the different forms of showing love. And then I hate the fact that I'm ignoring you and pushing you away. I just, it just scares me to feel so deeply for you. I never had that before. Again, there are the fears of intimacy um, with the connection obviously was a trigger, but this person knows they love you. They know that you're the only one and hurting you was never their intentions. It's just either internally they struggled with themselves and this was a learning curve. So guidance for you, beautiful self-worth. Never underestimate yourself or your potential. Be aware of self-sabotaging and take back your top, your power. You're worthy of having love and living your best life ever. Be confident and own it. And this is understanding your self-worth and never underestimating. Um, and I do want to point out forgiveness in the bottom. You know, never underestimating your... If there are insecurities within yourself, never underestimating your own self-worth. Because again, that's what makes you more attractive when you when you have this self-respect for you and you know how to communicate yourself, you know, then you reflect that back. But you know, this could be also for your person, I feel, where they have to learn, right? Some have abandonment issues. So there is some, you know, inadequacy and self-worth and 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 that needed to be learned so sorry what is the message from source for virgo here please what is the message from source from virgo where there is longing the soul is crying out for tenderness and healing for the remembering that love is always here ever present and so again this has been a healing space so again forgiving and learning it's it's been a release of understanding how to communicate love again the differences and both souls are longing for each other there's a lot of longing here and so if your soul is also longing it also because it re it needed its tender love from you to increase your self-worth and so there, this could have been a mar marrying energy for both and a learning experience for both and again, you know, um, for the remembering that love is always here and ever present that at the end of the day, we have to nurture and be compassionate towards each other in order to have healthy communication and healthy relationships anyway. So, you know, that, but that, that healthy relationship and healthy communication starts with ourselves and within ourselves. So, um, Virgo, I'm going to leave it there. I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.